청년 너는 살고 싶나? <웃음> 그럼 너에게 그토록 바라던 또한 번의 기회를 쉽지는 않지만 My experience with Korean developed visual novels is fairly limited. However, I don't go out of my way to avoid them. I'm just unaware of their releases. When I saw that Sakai Project was assisting with the release of Hannah's Campus Life with the promise of an English localization, I knew this would be my chance to change my limited experience with visual novels from this region. In Hannah's Campus Life, developer Limited Factory has crafted an emotional and supernatural narrative that blends rom-com energy with a touch of Korean fantasy, resulting in an enjoyable, if not overly coincidental, tale. 만약 내가 돌아갈 생각이 없어서 그래서 명백한 수배자인 상태였다고 해도 Hannah's campus life opens with Zhang Li Han waking up to his roommate, Hannah. Their general relationship is explored through the opening, but after a few flashbacks, we catch up on why these two are bunking together. Li Han is living a sort of isekai fantasy as he is struck by a car and meets Hannah in the afterlife, who promises to revive him if he can promise to live a happy life. Things get a little more complicated as the story holds its cards pretty close about the truth of who or what Hannah is. The main narrative explores Hannah's existence and how she may eventually return to her home. In the meantime, she's joined Li Han and his friends at school, leading to some fun campus life situations. Throughout the story, players make choices that eventually lead to various endings. There are three character routes to explore, with Sian's route being my favorite. However, the true ending of her route didn't really have the impact that I was hoping for. It just felt like many of the resources and plot threads favored Hannah's route specifically. Player choice is a massive part of the game's appeal, so you'll likely need to create multiple save files during story branches if you want to see everything. The branches keep you in the dark about how your choices affected anything until you reach an end, but this means that the way players experience the game from player to player is different. It doesn't look like the secret adult routes are available in the English version though, which removes two potential endings from the heroines. I'm not sure on this because the secret routes are available in the game, but the adult routes don't seem to be present. That said, I don't think you actually need them, and they were created more for fun. The narrative does become a little more chaotic when Vale is introduced and Li Han acquires insight into potential realities. This shift in tone is heavily needed to limit any fatigue from the slice of life pacing. It shakes things up, raising the stakes of Hannah's true identity and role in the universe. The group then gets behind the central goal of protecting Hannah, and outside of some strange detours, each route delivers decent story beats and character interactions. The issue with the story is how coincidental Lee Han's success is. Problems creep up and are solved within minutes, and the romance route with Sian isn't satisfying at all even though the story sets up Li Han's feelings for her in the opening chapter. Further, anytime the story seems to be stagnant, a new supporting character is introduced hours into the game to shake things up. That said, if you do reach an ending, the story is really good at getting you to jump back in and find the different resolutions. The cliffhangers of each scenario are expertly crafted to get you to replay. From a UI standpoint, Nothing really stands out as exceptional. It's a bit basic. However, I did find the in-game achievements, which track all various story branches you've unlocked, to be a nice touch. The Korean voiceover for all the characters, except for the main protagonist, is also present. But it did take me a bit to relate to Hannah's voiceover to her character design. That said, she's supposed to be a reasonably old deity in childlike body, so I think that's the point of her older sounding voice. Hannah's Campus Life is a well-paced visual novel that balances romance, comedy, and supernatural elements in some masterful ways that keep players engaged across each route. Its ability to craft cliffhangers and build on its cast without overshadowing the main plot makes it relatively easy to read. I'd say that the story is a bit overly coincidental and favors the lead a little too much, but there's enough to love about Hannah's route to keep you invested in the 14-hour runtime. Noisy Pixel is giving Hannah's Campus Life a 7 out of 10. Thanks for watching. This video is brought to you by our supporters on Patreon. Noisy Pixel is run by a group of gamers providing independent gaming coverage through news, reviews, previews, and more. Check out our Patreon to help support our continued growth and subscribe to keep up with all our future content.